Hey guys, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. I want to check out this menu first. Oh, wow. Huh, so they're just all listed here. You know, when I originally played this game, uh, these were not in the game. Bill 20 minigames, grow the Tree of Wisdom 20 feet, or 100 feet. We'll get into the Tree of Wisdom later. Um, you can play a daytime level by planting only mushrooms and coffee beans. No fungus- wait. Oh wow, some of these look kind of tricky. None of them look really too difficult though. Like, I feel I could get them all with fairly minimal effort. I do see a few that probably would trip me up, but that's kind of neat. Oh, new kind of zombie. This is these. I, I love this thing's name. The Zomboni. <laughs> and it is actually a really, really difficult plant to, to uh, zombie to take out. You might be able to tell by the fact that he's he's basically rying a giant a Zamboni. <laughs> All right, so let's get our. Um, let's see. Um, jalapenos. I'm gonna bring both of these out just so I could show off the Gatlin pea. I don't really use this plant that much though. You know, I don't see snorkel zombies, so maybe I won't bother with tangle kelp. Squash is always nice. Lily pad we almost definitely need. Um, then probably cherry bomb. Now let's bring um normal pea shooters. Squashes are good enough uh, for anything cherry. I need cherry bombs to do. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Uh, Stop by putting you right there. <clears throat> I always like to prioritize getting the four out first before I deal with the ones in the center. Because I need to plant lily pads in order to plant those ones. You know, I always wondered, like, is it really cost efficient to put the the um the sunflowers in the center? Because maybe you could like put one at the very top and on the very bottom instead. Oh, it's just always a thought I had. I might be able to put another one of these down pretty soon. Okay, let's focus on getting, um, repeaters. I'm not going to show off the jalapeno. It's The jalapeno is actually very similar to the cherry bomb. Alright, let's, um... You know, I'm going to wait and see, um, what comes out first. Okay, right down here. That might not arm itself in time. Well, let's get this out then. I guess it will. Alright, now some one on the top row. Oh wait, and one on the bottom row. Alright. Let's put you down there. I think after this we might um, be able to not rely on cherry um, on potato mines now. Yeah, I like the potato mines quite a bit. Like they're so reliable. You just gotta be smart and like not put them right in front of a zombie because that's not what they do. Let me get all these out. <clears throat> Um, I think we're more likely to get one down here. Oh, yeah, we just did. I don't think we'll need those anymore. Looks like I guessed around right where to put this one, too. And there we go, something firing all rows. Great start. Now I'll show you guys the Gatlin peas. The Gatlin peas are super fun. I think a Zomboni might be coming up, actually. 
Finally be a chance to, to show off what these do. Um, you know, when I first, when I see the first Zamboni, I'll put the Gadlin P on that row. I want to get the most out of it. Here we go. Okay. So the Zamboni, he, um, how he works is he'll move forward, he, he'll, like, drive forward and leave ice behind him. Kind of like an actual Zamboni. And you can't plant on these. You can't plant on ice. I believe it goes away after a while, but a surefire way to get rid of it is to put down a jalapeno. Huh? Oh! Oh, the bobsled zombie! I forgot about those. Those things come in conjunction with those things, usually. And I could also explain um, how these things work, the Gatlin piece. As you can see, they take a while to recharge, but what they actually do is, um, well, it's it has a purple seed packet, which means that you need to, um, you need to plant it on top of a particular plant. In this case, a regular repeater. Now it's firing uh, four peas at once instead of two. Pretty good, actually. I like it a lot. And it may be key to probably the best strategy in this game. I'm gonna put these down for now. I got another jalapeno ready. I don't think I'm gonna need it right now. This keeps up. I might not need it for the rest of the level, actually. There are two major reasons why I don't normally rely heavily on these, um, big packets. Uh, the first one is that I find them very cost inefficient for shorter levels like this. And secondly, um, in one particular mode of this game, it actually, um, let's put you right there. In one particular mode of this game, the, um, how much these actually cost actually increments. I'm gonna put this right here. You know, I think I'll do this. Yeah, that just smashes it. I think now I'll be able to actually show off the um, the bobsled zombie too, which I think is going to come out pretty soon. Put this right here. Jalapenos clear a whole row. Aw, oh, yes! This is one of my favorite plants in the game. Hmm. Bobsleds didn't come out of that. We'll probably have another chance to show that off later. But this is the spike weed. Pops tires and hurts zombies that step on it. This is probably one of my favorite plants in the entire game. Uh, we do a snorkelers this time. Let's see. Hmm. Well, we're definitely bringing those along. Gotta bring those along first, though. Uh, those are gonna be useful. These, these. That most definitely, and we need just a typical shooter. I think repeaters are still the good, uh, the, a good way to go. And then, um, hmm. Jalapenos. There we go. I actually kind of like jalapenos a little bit less than cherry bombs. Because, um... The, the thing about these things is that it hits a whole lane. However, are there really going to be zombies back here that you desperately need to get rid of? Oh, I forgot to bring, um... Oh boy, um... Okay, we'll have to do this, uh... Get something out pretty quickly. Because once again, I forgot to bring, uh, potato mines. I guess I could use this right now. I'll do it if it gets too close. I'm certainly not using a jalapeno this early. I don't think you're going to get him in time. I'll just do that. I can't wait to start putting spike weeds down, though. <laughs> Mark my words, I absolutely love this plant. I just need one more. Come on, guys. There we go. All right, good. Another thing down there. You know, I'll start putting these down. 
So what spike weeds do is, um, any zombie that steps on it, they start, it, it like, shoots up and then it damages them. Many of them at once can actually deal a lot of damage at once. Or many of them at once can actually deal a whole, a whole bunch of damage to a single lane of zombies. It's really cool. And, um, if a motor vehicle were to drive over it, it would pop the tire in the motor vehicle and kill it instantly. Just get rid of you. There's no way I'm gonna kill you in time. So yeah, those big armored vehicles are just gonna go down in one hit to that thing, which is really cool. I like the spike we go- uh, I- like, honestly, this may be one of my favorite plants in the game. I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. Because I love just putting them out in places where I'm probably never going to have uh, plants again, just so I can get passive damage done with it. Because that's what they are to me. They're passive damage. And passive damage is still good damage. Like, these guys, they probably only have four hits left because of that thing. And that's only one of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, these things are really, really good. I'm gonna use this on you. The other one I'll take out with a, um... I oh, can't put those in the water, and you can't put those on, on um... On, uh, you can't put them on lily pads either. Let's put you there. Try to go on this lane pretty quickly. It'll be the next thing I do. One more. There we go. I was a little worried he wouldn't have time to get him, but apparently he did. One more repeater, then we'll start, um... Then I'll start decking the place out with, um... The spike weeds. I wouldn't- I probably want a little bit more firepower in the water, though. I might put one more repeater in there. Yeah, there we go. Now, one thing kind of cool about these things is that if you put a, um... If you put a walnut in front of them, um, when the zombies actually stop to eat it, they will stop in front of the walnut. Uh, which means that if there is a spike weed there, they will start to take damage from it. Which I think is really cool. Very inexpensive too. Oh, we have a bucket head. Alright. Look how much the spike weed is helping. Just putting a whole lane of them down. That might not be enough, though. I think it will. It'll be fine. Yep, there we go. I guess if I can put a little bit extra firepower on these, because these lanes I cannot put spike weeds on. Oh yeah, especially right now. Here we go. Alright, that should be all the firepower we'll ever need. I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the level putting spike weeds down. Because that's what I do best. Love this plant. Yes. <laughs> Are you gonna get him in time? Um please tell me he gets that in time. Yep, he did. Alright. 
All right, next wave. Now let's see if the uh, Zamboni, um... Okay, one's probably going to come out at some point. You can tell when it's going to come out, because you do actually hear an engine starting up. Well, I might not hear it over my own talking, but... Yeah, whatever. Oh! Oh, no. Yeah, we had those. I was going to be taking damage this entire walkway. Think about that for a moment. <laughs> Just passive damage over the whole thing. Oh, here comes one. And there it goes. <laughs> Just instantly killed it. I see another snorkel right there. Let's see. You gotta be on top of those guys, because they'll be across your screen before you know it. There's another one. Um, I might have to rely on walnuts here. I'm gonna put that there. Oh no, I misplaced it. Oops. <laughs> it's... Well, another one's coming anyway. I really should have done that to start. Hmm. The one downside to these things is that you can't plant squashes on top of them. That's not too big of a deal, though. <laughs> I didn't realize he just flung backwards. I thought he just, like, got hurt a little bit. <laughs> Something really funny about that. You know, I want to try something. I have a jalapeno, so I'm willing to check this out. I did that because I would like to see some bobsled zombies um, spawn because I would like to just show off what they do. So they start running forward in this bobsled, then they're all going to jump in. There are usually four in a group. Um, it will stop when it hits the end of one of these, but the real reason why this is dangerous is because, like, there are four zombies at once that, due to how fast that bobsled is, are probably going to start, like, we're probably going to, like, start walking normally, like, way over here. That's a really big reason why you want to be careful um, and get rid of those um, and get rid of the uh, the zombonies as quickly as possible, because the bobsled zombies can really uh, sneak up on you. Anyway, uh, we have a new plant. This is a lot of people's favorite plant in the game, actually. The torchwood. Pass that. Uh, please, that pass through it. Turn into fireballs. Now I mentioned that at one point. Um, oh, another zombie I don't like. The dolphin zombie. I call it the dolphin zombie. It's the dolphin rider zombie. I mentioned before that there is a point in the game where snow peas start to become useless. This is that point. The second you get this plant right here. I'm going to take essentially the same thing I took um, last uh, last level. Actually, I don't see... Um, I don't see zombonies. I don't think I'm going to bother with spike weeds, even though I love them. Well, we'll see plenty of them later, though. I promise you that. Um... I didn't bring those last time. I guess cherry bombs, because I, I like them a little bit more than jalapenos. Um, I'm going to bring that just for this dolphin rider. I really don't like that thing. Oh, I almost forgot lily pads. There we go. Uh, down here. I 
I'm gonna start putting them here. Nice, alright, I got all those going now. Uh, next I'll work on a repeater. Oops, sorry about that. Let's get rid of this guy before he eats too much of this thing. Put you right there. Um, I just want to get all of these out right now. I am really excited to show this thing off, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to put out just yet, though, because it's one of those plants that's kind of useless on its own. game give me something there we go all right, we got about half our rows now putting those down because I don't anything on this on this uh on this row yet now I do so that's all the uh, the ground levels. Now for the water ones. Then I'll start putting out torch woods. Oh, we finally need one. Uh, I think I'll put this here. Just get rid of him for now. I think I'm going to kill this one the old-fashioned way, though. I just need, like, three more sun things. There's one. Two. Anyone? There we go. Okay. Alright, which row? That one. Okay. So how the dolphin zombie works is he'll jump on the dolphin and then he'll jump over the, um... The first zombie he runs into. He's a little bit like the pole vaulter, but when he is riding on the dolphin, he is way faster than a pole vaulter. You might be able to see it here, actually. Because I don't have a tangled kelp down. Actually, I could get one. I'll do it right there. Yeah, you saw how fast he went. And it pretty much just jumps over the first, um... The first line of defenses, kind of like the pole vaulter did. I think now I'm going to start putting Torchwoods out. So how this plant works is, well, basically any piece that passes over it turns to fireballs. I think this doubles the damage they deal, which is really good, because imagine if I had three repeaters right here. Like, it multiplies the damage you deal, which is really, really good. Also, I've had enough of these things. Get out of here. However, if you're going to use these things, do not use snow peas. You want to know why? Uh, because if a snow peas like ice shot were to pass over one of these things, it would just turn into a regular pea. And honestly, so many high-end strategies rely on the torchwood to the point in which, from here on out, the pea shooter has almost or the uh, the snow pea has almost no use. Which is kind of sad because I actually kind of like that plant a lot. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, those things don't even have less health than a normal zombie. Like, they're just really, really dangerous. Okay, there are a lot here. That right there. It doesn't jump over that, though. I think the pole vaulters would jump over, like, a squash or something. But no, the Tangle Cub can still kill that thing. I feel like I need more firepower in the waters. Oh, wait, wait. There we go.
I put a torch wood, but you saw how far they were able to get, um, normally. I think just having more repeaters on these rows would be better for now. Yeah, they're doing way more damage than I want them to. That's fine, though. We'll recover from it. Alright, here are more dolphins. Um, where are you coming from? Right there. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I, honestly, I kind of prefer that you get rid of that thing, but... Alright. I think this is the final round, too. Alright, here's a new plant. Now, this is a really, really good one. You might notice it looks a little bit like the walnut. It's the tall nut, a heavy-duty wall that can't be vaulted over. That's a very, very useful one. Oh boy, we have all of them. Uh, Zombonies, bull vaulters, dolphins. Alright. You know, in the sequel, there's like a button you can hit right here that like... It like, it like just auto-selects all the plants you had in the last level. And I kind of wish that was here, actually. <laughs> it's a nice bonus. Let me check something. Oh, wait, no. Back to game. I forgot how much money we had, but... If we had enough for sun, for twin sunflowers, I'd like to show those off. Let me check real quick. No, we don't. Not even close. I don't even know why I thought that. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in. Um, alright. Those look good. Certainly those. I guess I could show those off, even though... For right now, I kind of prefer walnuts. Oh, whoops. You can take these in, you just can't use them. Like, they'll be asleep if you put them down. I really don't want to bother showing that. Uh, and then, probably jalapenos to deal with zombonies. Even though I have these. I didn't bring potato mines. Can I have one of these levels then? Oh no, I did! Oops! <laughs> it's... I don't know why that slipped me for a moment. You have a lot of sun already. I like that. Yeah, we pretty much have enough to get out of every one of our sunflowers. Well, might as well. You know, one challenge I love doing, I personally think it's really fun to try and uh, beat every level. Or to try and see how many levels I can beat using nothing but spike weeds. I would love it if I could beat an entire level with nothing but these things. I know it's very unlikely, but heck, you know what? I could try right now. Oh, I already used potato mine, so maybe not. Yeah, it's something I want to try one day. It, it's probably possible. Uh, let's put the... Let's say two rows of um, of those things. I'll put that right there. So yeah, the tall nut. It cannot be vaulted over. If a pole vaulter were to attempt to jump it, it would just like fall back down. Like it would slide back down. And he would even lose the... the um, he would even lose the pole, which is great. And they have far more health than a regular wall that I'm not sure what the exact number is, but it is it it takes noticeably longer to get rid of one of these things. I'd love to show one off right here, but oh, there we go. They take a sluggish time to actually recharge. Yep, there we go. They just fall right off. And pole vaulter coming from there. You should be able to kill him before he gets over here. 
I just want to get something shooting on all rows right now. Yeah, see, look at that. Not even a dent in this thing yet. That's pretty crazy. Looks like I can put another one of these things down. These things, uh, these things take so long to, um, to grow or to recharge that I just always put them down whenever I can. Because I hate to waste that time. And they are just that good that you should focus on them. I think it's just starting to lose some health. I guess I should show this off too. Oh, huh, I thought they actually attacked them while they were eating. Maybe it's because he jumped it, or maybe I'm just thinking of the sequel again. Who knows? Oh, wait, what am I doing? Actually, I have to um, start worrying about the middle two rows. Especially since I forgot to bring Tangle Kelp for some reason. Um, at least I still have Jalapenos. I might need to use one, actually. Actually, maybe I won't. Um, you know, we'll put that there first. He can survive all that. It's going to be quite a beating, but he will be able to take it. He just has that much health. Oh, and here comes this thing. You know, I'm not quite sure if the... Um, if this thing can jump over tall nuts. I would assume not. But you never know. I might check that at some point, actually. Oh, we'll be able to find out right now. And do they? No, they don't. Okay, cool. But I figured that out. Oh, they actually ate it. Um, oh, Thankfully, they were able to kill it. Um... I think next I'll start putting out Torchwoods. You'll, yeah, you'll kill him in time. I feel I should put this down first, though. I'm not going to use that here. You know, I might need to. I'm going to use it. There we go. It even works in water. Don't worry, because it's a fire thing. Or don't worry that it's a fire thing. It still works in water. All right, there we go. Got a full calm of those things. I think now I'm going to start focusing on Torchwoods and lily pads. Gold coins are always nice. I'll start putting it there. Alright, let's, um... Hmm. I think we should put out more of these things, but I'm gonna wait and put out Torchwoods instead. One more and I can put another one out. Um... Let's say right there. It does charge really fast. I really, really like, which is one thing I really, really like about it. Like, I actually don't fear putting these on, um, on these rows. In fact, I think I'm going to, because, um, the dolphins can't jump over them, so they can't just, like, eat them. And that's the last thing we need. But the Torchwood is basically why we're dealing double damage of everything right now. Like, honestly, this is essentially the same damage that a Gatlin P does, I believe. And we're gonna double that just by putting another one down. Now imagine that if they were Gatlin Peas. Eight fireballs, all of which deal double damage than normal. Like, that's pretty crazy. All 
I want to get all these first. Then I'll focus on spike weeds. Even though I probably should put some out like right now. Oh, here comes another one. And there we go. All of our torchwoods. I'm gonna put some more firepower on these middle two rows for the same reason I did last time. Uh, I'm not sure which one though, and I do have time to figure it out. That is the last place I wanted you. Okay, I'm putting them here. Bucket head plus a bunch of stuff behind him. Now you got that. It's this where I'm a little worried about, so I'm just gonna do this. There we go. All right, boss stage time. Hello, we heard you are having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. Sincerely, the zombies. <laughs> I love these notes. <laughs> it's... All right, here we go. Big wave with just about everything we fought in this uh, world. Alright. It's not a great start. It's not a great start. My game. <laughs> it's... That's not what I need either. That, that helps, I guess. We'll put that right here. I guess right there? Another one, maybe? Game. Game. <laughs> I need something to kill this thing. I might let the the um the lawnmower just kill him. I'll take care of you because you're a buckethead. No, no, I'll just kill you right now. The game is giving me nothing. Like, it's all, it's just giving me these, uh, one-shotters and, like, stuff that works well with other plants. I wonder if that's ever happened. I wonder if, if anyone has ever just gotten these things. I, I still haven't gotten any. Not even, like, a pea shooter. Yeah, it's giving me torchwood, so it's probably gonna give me, um, ah, there we go. Okay, my goodness. <laughs> that was silly. Ah, it does hurt them. Okay, that's what I was thinking about before. Yes, it does in fact hurt them while they're eating it, which does really, really help. That thing is almost eaten already just because the game gave me nothing to play with. I have no torchwoods down here. I'm going to work on that next. I think I might just use this on you. Ooh, diamond. That's good. Uh, another three, Peter. That's nice. I'll use that to compensate for the fact that I don't have torchwoods down here yet. I really, really want some. Oh, there's some. Uh, right there. Least amount of firepower. Oh, well, never mind. Looks like we're gonna need it there. Now 
Now we just need one for these uh, middle rows. That helps. That helps. Okay. As soon as I plant a lily pad, that'll be useful. I still haven't used these yet. We haven't found any aquatic zombies in this particular level. I need lily pads to plant those. Come on, game. Oh my goodness. You know what? Make some more room. Repeaters. Fine. I have to. <laughs> I could start putting them back here, I guess. I don't really want to, but I can. Uh, you're gonna make way too much, way too much headway. I don't want that to happen. Wait, did that not kill him? Maybe I did too much damage to him. Uh oh, uh, one got through. He's probably gonna eat that. Yep. All right, this is starting to get hectic. Uh, I need to put that down. I feel like I could have planned this better. I'm fine with it, though. It's giving me, like, Torchwoods and more Tall Nuts. By the way, the effect of Torchwood doesn't stack. If I put, like, two here, it won't quadruple the damage. I don't think it works that way. I'll check it real quick. No, it doesn't. Oh, finally one of these. Alright. Let's put that down. I'm pretty sure if um, if a Zomboni runs over a plant, it does instantly kill it, which is a problem. You do need to watch out for that. I don't have any use for this, really. The, the only plant that it can uh, run over and not instantly kill is the tango is uh, the spikeweed. Actually, it does kill the spikeweed. It's just that the spikeweed kills it as well. It's worth it, though, because those things just have that much health. Alright, I'm gonna need some more lily pads. Spike weeds, always fine. Actually, this is the final uh, round. I'm gonna just start putting jalapenos down. Hmm. That's all that's left is this lane. You know what? There we go. Alright, nice. A uh, new plant. This is the Sea Shroom, aquatic plant that shoots short-range spores. We will use it next time, though. I think I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.